Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. Today I'm going to be uh, upgrading my uh, batteries for my travel trailer, my Rockwood Mini Light 2205S 2022 edition. I'm upgrading from one standard wet cell 80 uh, amp hour 12 volt battery to two 100, you know. Uh, amp hour 12 volt lithium iron phosphate batteries courtesy of the folks at uh, AO lithium battery and I'd like to thank the folks at AO lithium battery I've had these batteries uh, hanging around the house for about a year and a half I installed them once didn't like how they how, how I set them up uh, sometimes I just use one battery but this time I'm gonna use two batteries and put them in a tongue box I got that tongue box today at uh, Harbor Freight, it's their smaller metal tongue box. Yesterday I tried to put in a DZ plastic tongue box. It looks very nice, but it was gigantic. It was really front heavy, so I needed something a little skinnier that actually fit between my propane tank and the you know, front of my travel trailer. So let's get started with the install. Hope you like it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions uh, please leave them below and uh, this is going to be about 98% of what I plan to do for my uh, battery install there's going to be some other mods down the line I know I have to do some tweaking and again if you have any ideas for tweaking uh, leave them below I had planned again to put them in my pass-through right there right there in that pass-through but uh, it was there for about a month or two I didn't like it I needed that space for other stuff so I decided just to put it right where the batteries are originally. And uh, again, some of you are going to say, hey, put it in a pass-through. What's wrong with you, Jesus? Uh, some of you are going to say, fantastic job, except you've got to do this and do that and do this. So this is my way of doing the install. Again, I hope you appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, leave them below. Abajo. Muchas gracias. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. It's a nice sunny day. Yesterday, last night. We, we had tornadic action, a lot of rain, a lot of thunder, a lot of lightning. It was pretty crazy for the last couple of days. Today, it's amazing. So let's get started with this uh, install video. Yes, I hope you like this install video. Here I am with a piece of paper, and I'm going to detail uh, how I'm going to set up my battery box. Essentially, I have two AO lithium 12 volt uh, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries. And these are A plus batteries. These are top of the line batteries by the folks at uh, AO lithium. So, of course, I'm going to parallel, you know, connect them. Connect them via, you know, parallel, not in series. So, there's two negative wires that connect. Uh, specifically to the RV and there's one positive and of course I know which is which so I don't want to cause too many uh, issues <laughs> at least I know that uh, a lot of you folks out there are a plus at this sort of stuff I am what I call mediocre okay so I decided to put a little breaker uh, switch here uh, when I want to turn on or off the batteries and it's a little breaker switch and then I also have a fuse right over the positive terminal, okay? Hope this works out. If I have any issues, of course, I, you know, I'll just change things according to uh, what you folks say. Hey, Jesus, you should do this. You should do that. And, of course, I'm going to take your advice to heart. Thank you very much. Here's the original layout, one positive and two negatives going into a Camco double battery box. Uh, again, the issue with this battery box is not wide enough for my two AO lithium batteries. So this is how it's set up. Again, uh, that's the negative, and on the right is a positive. Pretty straightforward, what do you think? This is how it came from the folks at uh, Rockwood in uh, Indiana at the dealership, Juan RV. It's about an inch and a half from the wall there and uh, 
from my uh, anti-sway hitch, there's a little bit of space. So I put a screw in the back and a screw in the front, no problem. So I had four screws to hold down this battery box. I had to decide where I'm going to punch some holes so I could put those cables in. First I had to make some pilot holes. You know, you all know how to do this. You make a little pilot hole. And again, I'm at my Crowley, uh, you know, my storage facility for my RV. Make a little hole there, that's sheet metal, that's pretty easy to do. And I did three of those holes and then I used this contrivance to uh, make them big enough for the grommets. I bought some grommets off of uh, the folks at Amazon. It did okay, it didn't do great, it did okay. And then of course I had to spray paint it a little bit so it doesn't rust. You know, uh, you know this is the back so now everybody's going to see all my horrible paint job. Uh, again, all you folks out there, 99% of you can do a better job. It looks a little messy back there, huh? Those are the grommets, and it uh, looks okay. Um, again, I give myself a good solid C. Here's a shot of the box in place. Again, I have two screws in the front, two in the back, and, uh, and there's the wires uh, through those holes. And I used uh, fender washers. And of course, my grommets came out. It was too small, <laughs> so I have to stick those back. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's my uh, 150 uh, fuse right there. You think I should get a 200 or 2,000 or a million, you know, fuse or just a smaller fuse? And, and of course, everything's in parallel. What do you think? Again, leave your kind and brilliant. Only the brilliant ones uh, below. I would greatly appreciate. It. Here's another wide shot of my attempt at updating my battery box. Thanks for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, this is a how-to video. It's not the perfect how-to video. Uh, don't follow my steps exactly. You can create something a little bit better, I'm pretty sure. Again, this is my how-to video. I could be doing it a little bit wrong. A little bit. There's always that chance. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and ring the bell for future notifications. And Leave your kind and friendly comments, suggestions. Yes, I'm pretty sure you have a few suggestions uh, below. Abajo. From uh, Crowley, Texas, where I have my RV stored. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.